love it here, I swear. here my name is Talina if you're not new welcome back to my channel um today we are going shopping babes this is gonna be a weekend vlog a Saturday Sunday I might throw in Monday because your girl going to see Miss Nikki M the Nicki Minaj yes I'm going to see her on Monday so I might throw that in this vlog um, but yeah, it's gonna be another weekend vlog. Today we're going shopping mainly for makeup. If I see anything else, I will look and decide if I actually need it or not. But I need to buy some furniture pieces for the living room as well. And yeah, that's basically what's on the agenda today. Tomorrow, however, I think we're just gonna clean up i might do some grocery shopping and then prep for nikki which basically means i just need to figure out what outfit i'm wearing um yeah but that's pretty much it um i do want to say thank you for everyone that's been tuning into my vlogs and watching my vlogs you are appreciated um yeah i just want to say that literally appreciate y'all all 200 of my subscribers I appreciate y'all so much um so yeah that's what's on the agenda today this is what I'm wearing today jewelry that's what it's looking like my mirror is dirty but sweatshirt these shorts these shoes this bag and then my lower base so that is the vibe for today. Hey y'all, so I had stopped to give me some food because I haven't ate all day and it's 3.30, 3.38 to be specific. So I stopped and got me a big bag because you can't go wrong with a big bag. What y'all be getting when y'all get a big bag, if y'all get a big bag. If y'all don't get a big bag, then y'all sleep. But I get the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger sometimes. I eat beef, and, and this is one of the times. I get a junior bacon cheeseburger, honey mustard for my nugget, and then to drink the pineapple mango lemonade. Um, probably the best flavor lemonade, the pineapple mango one. So good. If you don't know nothing about no $5 big bag, it's from Wendy's, because I don't know where y'all from. Or if y'all have Wendy's, but that's going to hit every time. That's going to hit every time. So, yeah. I tried to tell y'all that I stopped to get some food before we get to Sephora. But I'm going to eat. I'm going to I'm gonna fuck it up. And then I'll talk with y'all once we get to our destination. Um, hey y'all, so I just made it um, to like a little parking area and it said like 20 more minutes left, but I promise you the walk is probably not even that long. It's just hella traffic going up this one little side street. So I'm just going to park and walk the rest of the way because I really don't think I need to drive too close anyway. So yeah, I'm about to park and pay. The lighting is not the best. But I forgot it's freaking St. Patrick's Day weekend. So, there's hella people out here and they're green with their fucking beads on and stuff. It's not that many people right now, but I'll show y'all what it looks like on my way back to where I parked my car at. 
Philadelphia. There's tons of people out here right now. Which is kind of crazy. Do I have on green? I do have on green. Tis the tis the season. Happy St. Patrick's Day. But yeah. There's like tons of people out right now. It feels good out here though. I might actually end up sweating. To be honest. I'm supposed to turn left on Peter Street or something. North Peter Street. I still got 450 feet to go. So, but the lighting, the lighting hits this way. But I'm walking against it right now, so. It's such a beautiful day today. It's hotter than what I expected. It feels like like 76 or something like that. It looks so dark right now. Hold on. Alrighty guys. I made it. And it's honestly not that far of a walk. Or at least it wasn't. Thank you. Vans. And then Sephora and H&M. Alright, we made it to Sephora. Thank you. Alright, I made it in Sephora. The music is loud. So, let's see. Damn, they are out of the Fuchsia Flex shade that I wanted so bad. This one, they don't have any of it, so I'm actually really sad about that. They have the concealer, so. So let's see. The music is really loud in here. So.
All right, y'all. We are walking to the car now, and your girl spent too much money. Too much. I don't know if y'all hear the police sirens. There's a lot going on. Like I said, I don't know if y'all heard me before, but it's St. Patrick's Day weekend. St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow, Sunday. Um, so I forgot that. And there's tons of people out in New Orleans today. So yeah, but everybody looks so cute in their green. I'm just walking back to my car with this big ass bag, but I'll show y'all what it looks like right now. Do you know what's going on? Oh, it looks like a party. So I think it was a parade. Wow. I think it's a parade, but everyone that I've seen, at least in the front, it's just police. It's literally four police cars. I don't see any like big floats or tons of people, so I don't know. I don't know, child, but that wasn't in my agenda today. Maybe I could have stayed and watched whatever's going on, but I got all this stuff in my hand and I'm not trying to be hanging around with a whole bunch of stuff. I can probably still hear it going on. But yeah, your girl spent way too much in Urban Outfitters, which I didn't think I was going to find that much stuff. But when I started looking, I was like, ooh, this is too cute. And I know how I would style this and da 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 da. I only ended up with one pair of pants, but I ended up with like four shirts and a drinking game and just random stuff. So. I'll show y'all when I get home. So I made it back home um, from shopping and stuff like that. So I want to give y'all a quick haul of everything that I got because I couldn't really film in Sephora. The music was just really loud. And yeah, that's mainly the reason that I really didn't film in there is because it, the music was really loud. And it was just a lot of people like shopping in there and stuff. It was just not the ideal situation for me to be filming. And then I showed y'all um, me trying on clothes in Urban Outfitters and I'm going to show you what I got. So from Sephora, I bought a little notepad in there because does this make me old? I mean, I know you have a phone, but where I work, you can't bring any electronics and stuff. So I have a little notepad for when I randomly think of things I know at work and want to write it down. 
So I have a list of like makeup stuff that I wanted to get. Um, I didn't get everything on here, but I got a good bit only because Sephora, you know, Sephora and Ulta have different things and different brands. So I probably need to go to Ulta for certain stuff versus Sephora. But what I needed to get was more or new setting sprays because I have two right now, which I know I said I wasn't going to do the multiples thing. I said I wasn't going to do the multiples things, but hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I have the e.l.f. It's like a blue one. The e.l.f. Matter of fact, hold on. I'll show you. Um, the setting sprays that I have, I have the e.l.f. Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Mist. I have this one. And then I have the, I don't know if it's going to focus, but I have this one. And then I have the One Size On Till Dawn Mattifying Spray that one but this one's almost done and i use this during the day when i wear makeup to work um just because it's drugstore like i'm not i don't need anything this works really good but i don't need anything like super setting if my face creases a little bit throughout the day while i'm at work i don't really mind but this one i got the small travel size just to try it out and i'm not gonna lie I'm not the biggest fan of it only because I know that it works. I know that it works. It works really well, but I don't like the feeling of not feeling my setting spray on my face. Like literally this feels like a fine mist. Like you don't even feel it on your face. So I'm like, how do I know that I put enough? Like it's just not to me. It's just not, I don't really like it. I don't, I like to feel my setting spray like on my face and this just feels like air. It literally feels like you're spraying air in your face. So I won't be repurchasing this, but it was nice to try it. That's why you get your makeup in small sizes to try it out and see if you actually like it and then you buy the big stuff. So those are the setting sprays I have. This one is probably gonna be gone soon and this one's probably gonna be gone soon. So. I was like, I might as well re-up on some setting sprays. So the two that I got that are new are the, what is this? Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I got the small one because I've never used it and I wanted to try it out. Um, Yeah, so I got the smallest one. This was like the only one. They had a whole bunch of bigger bigger sizes but I hope this one ends up being decent so we'll see about this and then the other setting spray that I got was the Urban Decay All Nighter long lasting makeup setting spray I got a small travel size as well because I've never tried it so I want to see how this works as well um I feel like a lot of girls like this the urban decay one and i've never tried it so i got the black one apparently they have like four different kinds of the urban decay setting sprays so i always see people with this one or or like the purple one so i just got a small one of this so yeah that's what it looks like hopefully i like that one as well and a good thing about getting travel size ones is that you can bring them through the airport and don't have any issues either. Well, you can always pack it in your big suitcase, but who wants to do that with certain things? So I got those two and then I got a big makeup cleansing balm because my best friend Deja, she put me onto this. I have the really small like travel one and I'm about to be out of it. So I re-upped on it. It's really good for taking off makeup and everything. They have another one that's darker. That's supposed to be more so of a deeper cleanse. And I was so tempted to get it. But I was like, let me just stick to what I know. And then maybe next time I'll try the darker one. Or I might get a small travel size in the darker one to compare it to this one. It's like, when I say darker, it's like a darker purple but it looks the exact same and it says like take the day off or whatever but it's supposed to be like an exfoliating 
um balm to take off your makeup but the other ones seem like it really gets gets in there so but this one works too so that's why i just stuck with what i knew and then the last things that i got were some concealers i've been saying i've been needing some new concealer and you know fenty just came out with their concealer and if you don't know i'm a fenty girl i love fenty um i love rihanna but i love fenty like the makeup too so i got um her new concealer and i got it in the shade 260 natural i was gonna get it in like 300 natural or something like that but they didn't have it so i went for the it's either natural or neutral i think it's neutral so i went for the next neutral shade that they had which was 260. um i don't know if i'm cool toned or warm toned so i just stick with neutrals i probably should figure that out but that's the shade i got which i think it'll work pretty well underneath my eyes as a good color yeah i don't think it'll be too far off plus i'm gonna get darker soon so i think that's a really good match for me we'll see i'll have to try it out and see and then um i got the hourglass concealers everybody's been talking about them on tiktok talking about them talking about them talking about them so i was like let me see what they're hitting for now i did get two because i didn't know which shade would match me best um i got the shades beach like b-e-e-c-h beach and dune um dune is dark in the beach but yeah i just didn't know which one would work better for me and then having a lighter one and a darker one won't be bad anyways because like i said summer's around the corner so i'm gonna need a darker shade for the summertime anyway but for right now i feel like beach matches me pretty well so this one is beach see that's pretty light which you want your concealer light but that's beach and then this one is dune which i don't know side by side you may not be able to tell the difference but i can tell the difference dune is darker so i don't know We'll see, we'll see. Got the small sizes, you know, trying to be smart and try things out in sample sizes. So yeah, that is all that I got from Sephora. I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Urban Outfitters. I got a good bit of stuff um, from Urban Outfitters. And y'all know, some stuff at Urban Outfitters is not cheap. So that's, yeah, some stuff I'm like, you should not be spending that much. One of the shirts I got, I probably shouldn't have spent as much as I did on the shirt, but I really liked it and I feel like it'll be in my closet for a while. So that's why I got it. Um, but I'm gonna start with stuff that's not close. So they had this game called Tipsy Land, which I thought was so cute. It's like Candy Land, but you know, a drinking game that you can play with your friends. So I got that. I can't wait to play this. <laughs> like some of the little things says, drink if you have a tattoo, drink if it's the weekend, drink if you're on the ox, make a random call, beer drinkers drink, which none of my friends, well, one of my friends, she drinks beer. I drink beer like never, but sometimes I do. Um, drink if you've ever downloaded a dating app, the most innocent drinks, like it's stuff like that all across. So I thought it was the cutest game. And I literally saw this at checkout. Like, you know how they had the little stuff to set you up. They literally be setting you up, like setting you up like, oh, don't you think this would be cute while you're waiting in the line? And sure enough, they got me. So yeah, I got this game. Thing I got um while I was waiting was this poppy. Um, this one is the strawberry lemon flavor. I got this flavor and then they had one that was raspberry rose, but the cashier was like the raspberry rose is nasty and I shouldn't get it, so I put it back. Um, 
and got this one <laughs> just this one um she was like yeah this one's pretty good i'm not gonna lie to you the raspberry rose is nasty and i was like girl i'll take your word for it so i put it back um what else did i get i got this little cover for my um what's it called polaroid um y'all know my theme is like miami vice slash retro kind of vibe so a lot of my um decor has silver in it so i was like oh this is perfect i put my polaroid camera somewhere with the silver case and that acts as decor so yeah i got that they had a fuchsia pink one that was reflective and i was about to get both of them but i was like girl you don't need both you don't need both so i only got this one the next things i got were two perfumes which i'm actually surprised about um getting them because i just didn't expect to get perfume out of urban outfitters but they smell good so i was like why not one is called pistachio brulee and then the next one is called Fleur de Blonde. They look like this. Okay, so this is the, this is what they look like, that's one. And then this is the other one, Pistachio Brulee. Yeah, it smells so good. I didn't think I would like anything that says pistachio in it because I just think of like the actual pistachio nuts and i'm like that would not smell good so but it smells so good like i'm like wow and they were 26 dollars. it was 26 dollars for this one or one that was like this size for 16. i was like why would i i'll just pay 26 for the bigger one so that's exactly what i did and they smell so good there was only one left of this one the Fleur de blonde and the cap is like all busted up. So I asked the lady at the register, I was like, do y'all have more of these in the back? Like this one's kind of like busted up. And she was like, let me check. They didn't have more, but she was like, um, I can give you a discount on it though, since it's like busted up. And I was like, well, thank you. Cause I wasn't gonna say nothing, but since you said it, thank you, thank you. So she gave me a discount on this one because the cap was all bent up. But um, yeah, they're actually hair and body mist. So I was like, these, okay, come through Urban Outfitters with the smell goods. All right, so let's move into the clothing things that I got. I got some work pants. Um, they're really comfortable, like really, really comfortable. And they look kind of big. Well, they are kind of big. They're size six, which a four probably would have fit me perfect. But um, I don't mind because I can just wear a belt with it. I can just wear a belt with it. So it's nothing, it's nothing too crazy. And if it really bothers me, I can get them tailored. But they're just this plain black, long, flowy um work pants i've been needing some more work pants anyway and when i went and stopped in h&m they didn't have anything so i'm glad i found those and these were actually on sale so i got those then the next thing that i picked up was this light blue um top it has like the floral or like rose that goes on your neck and looks like a tank top. I tried it on in a dressing room, love this. And one of my uh, friends, he's having a birthday dinner, I think, and his theme is light blue. So I bought a dress that's like white and has light blue stripes in it. And I haven't tried it on yet. So if that doesn't fit, this is a nice backup contender, but this is just cute on its own. And this is also on sale, so. Yeah, I thought that was super cute. Next, I was kind of on the fence about this, but I was like, no, you are not leaving that in the store. It was only one of them. It was on sale and I really just liked it. It was different. Um, I know everyone's been getting into like the soccer jerseys and like football jerseys. This kind of reminds me of like a, 
kind of like a NASCAR vibe though. Um, but it, I fell in love with this patch. It has like a patch that says premium gasoline it's by BDG. Um, but yeah, it says like food and fuel or whatever. It just looks cool to me. It looks, it looks vintage. It has a vintage vibe to it. So I was like, yeah, I'm not leaving this. And then the back says grease and go. It just reminded me of what's that movie cars? Quality service, driving, fill up. Like it just kind of gave the vibe of like, like a NASCAR pit stop kind of vibe. So I was like, yeah, we're not leaving this. And I think it's a men's shirt because it kind of fit a little big, but I don't mind it. So this shirt right here, love it. Love the colors. Like I just think it's such a pretty like spring, summer shirt. But this shirt was $59, $59, yes, it is. Now, should I have paid $59? Debatable, but I did it. Do I regret it? No. So yeah. I thought it was super cute. I would pair this with like some, either some denim shorts, or like maybe some, like a cream. I have a cream skirt that I can wear it with and like some strappy heels. I just think that is like the perfect summer, spring and you can open it up and wear it low and have your jewelry. Like, I just think that's so cute. So I got it. I got it. I got it. I know. And then last but not least, um, there's this girl I follow on Instagram I just follow her on multiple social medias, but her name is Na Najee or Najee or something like that. And I'm pretty sure she has this shirt in her closet because she just did like a video. And I was like, wow, that shirt is really cute. I wonder where she got it from, but you know. And then I seen it. I'm pretty sure this is the same shirt. I seen it and I was like, that shirt is the same shirt and it was so cute on her so it'll be so cute on me like what and then when i tried it on fell in love and it's a size medium perfect literally perfect size because i didn't want it like skin tight i could have got away with a small but the medium fit well so yeah that's what it looks like so cute now what's this one on sale i don't think this one was on sale but I really liked it so yeah and that's all that I got today I spent a pretty penny so your girl is eating ramen tonight yep ramen noodles for din din tonight but what they call it balance girl math girl math because that cup of noodles not gonna save me that much money but still I'm eating noodles tonight. But yeah, that's all that I got. I am uh, probably going to just shower, take my makeup off. There's a couple more things I need to buy. So I might pick up the camera when I'm actually like online shopping um, for that stuff. But for right now, that's it, y'all. <laughs> nah, I'm just ready to take my makeup off. Kind of lay down, relax a little bit, rub my feet together just a little bit. I ain't going to sleep yet, but just rub my feet together just a little bit. Um, And I need to watch the Love is Blind reunion. I haven't watched that yet, so I need to watch that. I've been watching Insecure, so um, those are the two, sh two things that I need to watch. Um, but yeah, I'll probably, if I don't pick up the camera later on tonight while I'm doing some online shopping, then I'll... See y'all tomorrow. Okay, hey y'all. So it's later on in the day, Sunday. It is currently almost five o'clock, literally. Oh, can you see that? Yeah, almost five o'clock. So I tried to check in with y'all earlier. I don't know if I added that or not, but it, it was storming this morning like literally storming and if you hear something in the background that's my air fryer but 
it literally was storming so bad like my power went out for a second like it was bad it was bad so the whole morning i just basically sat in bed i um uploaded a video and posted it so it's the video before this one but um i uploaded that video and then i just really was laying in bed for a minute and then eventually i got up and went out i went to walmart and ulta um i went to walmart and got because spur of the moment it's not spur of the moment i had been thinking about doing this for a while but i made the decision like last night that i was gonna start tomorrow so i'm gonna do like a smoothie cleanse slash diet i guess you would say so like fruits and vegetables kind of thing so for the week coming up i'm going to be making smoothies and then for dinner i'm going to be eating salads no meat no nothing just literally fruits and vegetables and water so yeah i decided to do that yesterday so um yeah so i picked up stuff for that i got some frozen kale pineapples peaches strawberries blueberries i think raspberries as well it's either raspberries or blackberries y'all know the little frozen mixed vegetables it's like that so i picked up some of those and then i also picked up um some smaller things that i just felt like i would need i got some calypsos because I, I love those drinks but well i can only have one today I'll save the, the other one for when I make it to the final day. But I'm doing Monday through Friday. So if I start my next vlog on Friday, y'all will see. Um, but yeah, I'll show y'all. I want to show y'all what I got from Ulta. So I was looking for some blush. I wanted powdered blush because I have liquid, br liquid blush from rare beauty i have two of those but i only have one powdered bl blush i don't know why that's stumbling me so bad powdered blush but it's from milani and it's cool but it's not that pigmented so i wanted to pick up a different one so i ended up getting a blush palette or set from julia's place um i ended up getting there are different volumes i got volume four which is supposed to have like really pinky blushes in it. And when I tell you they raided Julia's place area, it looked like a like a mess. Like everything was either they had nothing there or everything was like sprawled out everywhere. It was like someone literally ran through got all the makeup. So this is what it looks like. And these are the colors. Ooh. Oh dang! <laughs> it's together. <laughs> These are the colors. So I thought that was really pretty, and I was going for like a pinky. I wanted pink, pink. I wanted pink blushes, so that's what I was going for. Um, they had an orange duo, which I'll probably go back and get that once like summer hits in, because I feel like orange blush just makes sense in the summertime, low key. So. I got that and then I also got y'all they didn't have this in Sephora and I looked and y'all know I'm a Fenty girl and I love all her lip glosses literally I love them I don't have all of them but I wish eventually I probably will I don't know why my braids look so rough eventually I'll probably have all of them but I got the new one which is Fuchsia Flex um which looks like this okay there it is yeah so that's what it looks like and y'all know i'm going to see nikki literally tomorrow so i was like gotta have it gotta have it gotta have it i don't know if i'm gonna actually wear it because i don't want to do too much i'm already gonna be wearing hella pink so i don't want to do too much but i was like i needed it i needed it so i got that and then i also got an eyeshadow palette from um juvia's place it's the chocolate one it's called the chocolate 
and it's just like browns and stuff like that because I want to get back into wearing eyeshadow, which I really just want to master a smoky eye. Like that's really all I want to do. And yeah, so I needed a palette for that. I said, who else better to get a palette from than Juvia's Place? So yeah. And then this is what, Oop, let me take the plastic off. Oh no. Okay. This is what it looks like. Those are the shades. So I'm like, this is perfect for like a smoky eye. I'm scared. I kind of want to try it tomorrow, but then y'all know when you try something new, it end up looking crazy and then you got somewhere to go. So I'm like, mm, I might say that for a different time, but yeah. So got those two things and my Fenty lip gloss. And then I also picked up some micellar water just for when I'm traveling, um, just to have with me to take off makeup and stuff like that. It's, it's I like these um, and they're not expensive. They're literally like $5. So all you need is like that and a rag or a cotton round or something like that. So yeah, that's all I got from Ulta. I'm super excited about the lip gloss, but yeah. Those are, those are the four things. I'm so happy I did good. I need, I need a new, um, I need a new facial cleanser, but I really don't, I kind of want to wait until I'm out of my skincare and just do a big skincare refresh kind of thing. But um, yeah, so that's what I got from Ulta. Okay, and then from Walmart, besides the fruits and vegetables and stuff, I got some waxing strips for my mustache. <laughs> My mustache area I really it really never bothers me but the other day like yesterday when I was doing my makeup I was like dang like it would look so much better if I just had like a flat like no no stash which is really just the ends that be showing up like I don't have that much hair right here but I kind of want it smooth so yeah I got these I'm scared to actually try these because I'm just scared so I might try to do those tonight or I might wait I might wait until after no I don't know I might try those tonight then I've been wanting some eye patches and I've been wanting the topicals one and Sephora has been sold out I went yesterday sold out they didn't have any of them so um, Walmart had these by nature um, eye patches they say they have vitamin C and caffeine in them and it was a pick up it's a pack of five so i got these as well and then i got these pimple patches um they say extra large i don't know if they came in different sizes i probably should have oh yeah i probably should have looked at it because it's saying they're like this big i didn't need I didn't need nothing that big but they're 32 in a pack and I was needing these the other week when I got two pimples literally right here and I just didn't get any of them or I just didn't go out and um, purchase pimple patches because I was like oh they'll go away da, 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 da. but I wish I would have got them so got me some pimple patches and then I want to um clean up my eyebrows just a little bit so i got some eyebrow razors but yeah that's about it so right now i'm about to sort my clothes and go ahead and start washing those and then i need to call my friend nyla and see because we have been texting back and forth about what we're gonna wear tomorrow and i have an idea of what i'm wearing but i need to call her and see what the vibes are I'll check back in with y'all later tonight. Hey y'all, Talina from the future. Um, I forgot to end this vlog off, but I just want to say, um, sorry for the sirens if you hear them in the background, but I did not end up going to see Nikki because she ended up rescheduling her show, unfortunately. I was so sick about it, literally 
sick. Had the outfit planned out. Like, night was going great. No Nikki. So, um, she did reschedule for um, a date in May. So, I'm still going to go see her in May. Um, Y'all will get a vlog when that happens. But, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and close out the vlog. Um, thank you so much for watching. And um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, please. And I will see y'all in my next video.